Diana. How is everybody doing today? Woo! That's the energy we want to hear. My name is Chris Roberry. I am the communications manager for Riot Entertainment. There we go. And we are very excited today to be able to bring you the second Gerstlauer coaster coming to the United States in 2022. Stop me if you've seen this already. This has been really exciting to see everybody online try to figure out where this thing is going, and we just can't wait to reveal it to you, and we're not going to wait very long. So it is my honor to introduce Mr. Matt Huey, who is the Senior Manager of Coda Carding and Coda Land at Circuit of the Americas. Thank you, thank you, and it is so fantastic to be back at IAPA. It's been a few years since I've been here, and I've missed it every year since and never imagined I'd be in front of you guys announcing a new poster. Uh, so before we go forward, let me go back a little bit, because probably some of you are asking, what is Circuit of the Americas? What is Coda Land? And I'll need to fill you in on that, because I didn't know much about it either about a year ago. So Circuit of the Americas is America's Formula One dedicated racetrack. We just came off our Formula One race a couple of weeks ago. It was the largest Formula One race in the F1 history. So it was just amazing. We had over 400,000 people at our facility, and it was great. And they got to see a little bit of a preview of Codaland. Now our owner has a fantastic racetrack. He loves soccer, but more than anything, he has a passion for amusement parks. So his goal was to build a kiddie park at the Circuit of the Americas. That part was fantastic, that part was great. But as I got there, I said, you know, we're really at a stage where we're just kind of eight years old and younger are, are going to be having a good time at our park. There's nothing for the older folks to do. I said, well, I really want to keep it a kiddie park. I said, yes, but what if we could do some teenage rides? Just a few things. Well, that started off in uh, last November, went into December, and well, let's get a Ferris wheel. Went to January, you know what, we really need this, we really need this, and it started growing and growing. And from eight kiddie rides that we started off with last November, uh, we now have currently on property over 15 rides, including major rides, such as uh, a Schwarzkopf roller coaster, that uh, is an only 45 meter roller coaster that I'm familiar with that's still left from Schwarzkopf, so we're excited to have that. We're restoring it, which will open up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we have a, a great launch tower with some neat, unique rides. But I said, you know, if we're gonna continue to do this theme park, if we're gonna really go for it, what are we missing? So we're missing a couple of things. I said, we don't have a water ride. We're in Texas, we're in the middle of Texas, it's hot. He goes, well, he goes, I love log rides, all right? So we got a log ride. So what else do we need? We need some type of unique thrill ride, something that's unique to us. Uh, Bill Kitchens presented us with this new uh, swing ride that's just unbelievable, over 200 feet tall, swings through there, it's fantastic. He says, well, what else are we missing? I said, we're missing a signature roller coaster. He goes, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's, a, that's really jumping up there, it's a lot of money. I said, if you want to go big, we got to do it right. And he says, well, what, what do you want? I said, well, you know, what do you want? He goes, well, I don't know. He goes, I like the lift heel. The lift heel's important to me. I said, okay. And he was kind of showing me the area he wanted to put this coaster, and it was pretty tight. I said, we're going to put a lift heel there. We're going to go vertical. He goes, they can do that. They can do vertical? I said, yeah, they can do vertical. All right, I like that idea. And um, I said, well, is there anything else? He goes, nope, that's all I wanted. He goes, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's one other thing I want. I said, what's that? He goes, I want it to cross over Coda Boulevard, which is the road that enters into um, our park, our Coda Land. He goes, I want it to cross over the road. And I said, well, Bobby, there's only other, one other ride out that does that, and that's a Waldemere. I said, you want this to cross over the road? Yes, I do. I said, all right, is that all you want? I'm done. He goes, well, one more thing, one more thing. He goes, it needs to open before Formula One next year because we want to present it at that race. So, wow, that is a big order. Uh, with COVID going on, everything that was happening. So I sent out the information to several manufacturers. Within just a very short period of time, Gerschlauer had sent me a video of the ride. And they had every element I'd asked for. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe they actually did. I was so excited that they had done this. So I took my laptop computer, I turned the volume all the way up, because this thing has a great soundtrack behind it. Ran to Bobby's office and they build it. They, they can do it, they can do it, they can do it. Because there's no way. I said, watch this. So I had that thing blaring. He goes, turn it down, turn it down. Like, I'm not turning it down. He goes, you're going to make me want to buy it. I said, I want you to buy it. Keep watching, keep watching. And by the end of the ride, he's like, we're doing it. This is what we're doing. And then here we go. So our little kitty park of eight kitty rides last November is going to have over 20 rides as we open up uh, in 
spring summer time frame. We're getting that figured out. But it's gonna be a world class ghost story. It's gonna be so iconic. Uh, we can't wait for it. We're so excited, and I still can't believe that Gershaw was able to step up to the plate and make something happen. And so, uh, guys, if we're okay, I'd like to introduce Paladrome.
quick facts as we get through this part here. It's a 90, uh, 90 foot tall vertical lift, 1,230 feet of track, 2,080 of it will be traversed. Two inversions done forward and backward, a top speed of 51 miles an hour. G forces from plus 4.5 to minus 1, and is the first steel coaster in the United States to cross a road, opening in late 2022. Uh, if you'd like some media content, because I know you guys love it, these are some of the screen grabs. Don't worry, I'll give you a link here in just a moment. There's the iconic Coda Tower. Go ahead and scan that QR code. That'll take you to all the information you'll need, including that POV video, as well as any of the screen grabs you've already seen, and a press release. If you'll have any questions, feel free to ask us come down down here, or come visit us at booth 5124. But thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you all at Circuit of the Americas, the late 22 Fort Palindrome. Thank you very much, everybody.